On the left of our current course, you can see three blocks. There is a welcome block with an attractive image to welcome learners. There's a support block which has a link to contact the team. And there's a block like a widget with some code for the local weather. These three blocks are actually the same block known as an HTML block in Moodle. And this is a very customizable block where you, the teacher, can add your own text, images, links, or within reason, code. So let's take a look at adding an HTML block. And it doesn't actually matter if you don't understand any HTML, that's just its name. And to add this block, as with any blocks, we need to click the Turn Editing On button or the link in the Administration block. That then allows us to select HTML block from the Blocks drop-down, which is either on the right or the left, according to your theme. So we go to HTML. As you can see, because we've added three blocks, there isn't a limit to the number of HTML blocks you can add to your course page, unlike some other blocks which can only be added once. As you add a new block, it always appears at the bottom, and then to configure it, we click the Configure icon, which may be different if you have a different theme. And then, as you can see, we're presented with Moodle's text editor, the tiny MCE text editor, which we are familiar with. And so we can give it a title. And then using the features of the text editor, for example, we could add images, emoticons and format it. We can then add our own personalized content. Then we simply decide where the block appears, but we can actually move this around once on the course page, whether we want it visible or not, but we'll just leave everything as default, click Save the Changes, and see how we've made a customizable HTML block. And there we have it. So the HTML block is one that's well worth exploring to add some personalized features to your Moodle course.